Hi, it's Ross Jeffries from Seduction.com, and welcome to this presentation, Secrets of the Naturals, How Those Always Gets Girls Guys Get the Hottest Girls, and How You Can Too. Now, before I share this information with you, I want you to promise me, promise me that you'll remember that this is just a small part of what I have available as a teacher and a coach. The second thing I want you to promise me before I share this is that as I'm sharing this, you may find yourself getting a little bit angry because you'll see many of the stakes, mistakes you've been making throughout your lifetime of dealing with women. I want you to promise me that you'll find a way to set that aside and instead get excited. Get excited that you're actually finally seeing what will really work and that you can even imagine that you're setting your feet on the pathway to real and true success with women. That said, let's get going. First, let me define what a natural is. I'm sure we've all seen these guys, maybe in high school, maybe in college, maybe currently in your life. Whoever that may be, you know a guy who just always seems to do well with women, and he does it with very little effort. This is someone who doesn't suffer from dry spells. He doesn't settle for women he accidentally attracts. He doesn't chase after women, and he doesn't make any effort to make an impression. Now, I've suffered through all these things. I know what it is to go through dry spells, to go through years without touching a woman. I know what it is to settle for a woman because I had no game. I had no way of doing any better. And man, have I done lots of chasing and lots of efforts to make an impression, especially that last one. And haven't you recognized, haven't you ever experienced that the more you try to make an impression on a woman, the worse you do? <laughs> We're going to be explaining that later. Naturals also are not dependent on looks, not dependent on money, and not dependent on social status. Now, please listen to me. I'm a very precise teacher. I teach precisely. I didn't say that looks don't matter, that money doesn't matter, that social status doesn't matter. I didn't say that those things don't help. They certainly do. I'm saying that naturals are not dependent on those things in any way, shape, or form. You don't have to have those things. We've all known guys who do well with women and in many other ways, you would point at him and say, gee, that guy's a loser. And yet, <clears throat> he seems to do very well. Natural is not the same as a jerk. Sometimes there's an overlap. Some jerks are naturals, but not all naturals are jerks. A natural, the naturals that I've studied actually like women. And they enjoy women as people. They don't have any kind of cruel or vicious intent, and they're 100% nonviolent. I think many of us who are good-hearted and smart-headed guys, and I think, I hope that's the majority of people to whom this is being addressed, we have a false choice in our mind. We think either we like women and we're good to women and we fail, or we're jerks to women, we're cruel to women, and we succeed. I think this is because we've never actually seen an example of a man who knows how to be a positive challenge to women. One thing I could sum up uh, that being a natural is about is they know how to be a positive challenge to women. They don't have to press down on a woman's pain buttons, on her insecurity, on her jealousy, on her fears. Instead, they found ways to naturally challenge a woman, to positively challenge a woman, so she continues to become more intrigued. And she feels called upon to step up her game and be more of a woman for the man. I really believe that's possible. I can show you how to do it. So natural secret number one. Naturals never see failure or, or overanalyze. Man, is that second part important. Many of the men I've taught over the past 20 years, for every one unit of action they do with women, they spend 1,000, 5,000, 10,000 units of thought, thinking it through and trying to figure out what they did. <clears throat> but the naturals I've studied basically take the attitude, if something doesn't work out, they just shrug their shoulders and move on to the next girl. Now, that's not necessarily the best approach. I think you need a way of learning from your mistakes, but that doesn't mean you have to overanalyze it, certainly. Uh, as one guy said to me, look, Ross, it's the woman's job to worry about what happened. That was always his attitude, and that always worked for him. Now, again, when you're learning new skills, that's not always the best approach to take. I think you do need a super efficient way to learn, but we'll teach you that. Natural secret number two. Naturals know that looks are in what the woman sees. This is so crucial. One of my learnings, a big learning, is that women look at us through the emotions they feel for us. Women look at us through the emotions they feel for us. 
I'm sure you have known a woman who's been with a guy who just really looks like he lives under a bridge, and yet you can't, you, you even said, what does she see in him? Well, that's not the most accurate question. The, the most accurate question is not, what does she see in him? The most accurate question is, what is she seeing him through? What lens is she looking at him through? And that's the lens of the emotions that he's brought out in her, that she feels for him and looks at him through. Natural secret number three. Boy, this is a big one. Naturals don't fight themselves. When they move, they are not self-conflicted. So many guys who have struggles with women have a struggle because part of them wants to move forward, and the other part is saying, no, 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 wait until I have the exact right thing to say and the exact right move to make. Naturals don't do that. Look at this picture of a tiger. Can you imagine if a tiger was about to pounce, but part of the tiger said, no, no, maybe I shouldn't, I don't know. What if the antelope projects me? <laughs> so naturals are never self-conflicted. Even if what they do doesn't work, once they make that decision, they're fully committed to it. They don't hold back. Natural secret number four. Naturals have just two or three approaches that they do well. And at this is something I would also commit myself to teaching you as you find yourself committed or involved or invested in becoming my student. At whatever stage, from opening to sex, naturals don't have a hundred different things they have to sort through. They have just a few things they do very well. Now, this is a really, really good approach to take, to just have two or three things that work for you from every stage whether that's where you go to meet women, what you do to prepare before you meet women, what you say in the beginning, how you engage them in the first 20 minutes, what you do to get physical, what you do to overcome last-minute resistance, managing relationship expectations. You don't need 10 different things to do. It'll just confuse you. Natural secret number five. Naturals know their market. Now, again, this can be a limitation, but the naturals I've known, they know the demographic, and the psychological makeup of the women whom they are good at pulling. And they'll test for it early on and eliminate those who don't fit. This could be a discussion that goes on for weeks. And this is not necessarily the best thing. Here's where naturals are a little limited. Uh, naturals tend to know the sort of type of girl, the psychological makeup of girl who they appeal to. I think this is a limitation. I think we can go way beyond this. I teach how to go way beyond this both in my flagship course, Rapid and Total Success of Women, but also in my personal coaching and seminars. But this is a good thing that points out that naturals won't waste their time on women who are not responsive. Uh, this is a really good one. Man, this is a good one. Naturals never attempt to make the sale. Rather, they are the brand women want to buy. Don't chase and don't attempt to impress. There's that lesson again. So again, naturals never attempt to make the sale. They know how to set that frame so women view them as the prize that women have to pursue. Wouldn't that feel great? Can you imagine that? If the kind of women you really wanted to be with, you created such an atmosphere of challenge. You created that curiosity and that comfort and that playfulness and that tension that made a woman feel pulled towards you so she would chase after you. This is really, really, truly possible when you know how to organize your own beliefs and how you relate to your own flow of emotions and then know how to just read the woman you're with. Natural secret number seven. Naturals don't have to win. This is so crucial. How many times have you crushed on a girl and thought, I've got to get this woman. This is a woman for me. You think about her. You dwell on her. Maybe you stalk her Facebook page and you hypnotize yourself into needing her before you even touch her. <clears throat> naturals never do this. They don't have to win. And naturals understand that no matter how skilled you are, there's always a large element of randomness and chaos with women. There's always going to be circumstances in life beyond your control, but especially with, uh, I hate to use the word system, an organism that's as chaotic, seemingly chaotic and random as a woman. You've got to understand that sometimes you can give it your best shot and things are not going to go your way. So naturals do not have to win. Natural secret number eight. Naturals care, but not very much. A great way I put this is naturals are interested in the girl, but they're invested in their skills. 
Think about that. Stop and think about how your experience with women <clears throat> would be different if you were invested in your skills and merely interested in the girls. Natural secret number nine. Naturals don't take what women say at face value. <laughs> so many of us who have been raised by our mothers or lived in a family where our mothers wore the pants or our fathers were just absent absent, are so eager to please women that we take whatever they say at face value. You really need a good way of dealing with female autopilot. Women, particularly very attractive women, just put themselves on autopilot because they're used to the same stupid approaches. Now that's good news for you because that means all you have to do is be just a little bit different, different enough in a way that's intriguing rather than creepy and you can do really, really well. But my rule is, the way I put it is, I seldom take a woman's first response to me as written in stone. It's almost always just a reflection of what she's thinking, feeling, or believing in that moment, and it's almost always subject to change. There's many, many different ways we can deal with this. I'll just give you a freebie. For example, if a woman says to me, I have a boyfriend, I'll just laugh and shake my head and say, ah, boyfriends are like colds. Anyone can catch one anytime. It doesn't mean you can't shake them off when you really want to. And then I'll nod my head, and often they'll smile and laugh and it demonstrates that I understand their world. It demonstrates that I understand that often they're bullshitting themselves as well as men. Natural secret number 10. Naturals are not in the least bit shy about sexually escalating. Naturals know how to go for it physically and they know how to get aggressive and they have no compunction or holding back when it comes time to get aggressive. So many men so many men have gotten so close with some absolutely fabulous women, but at the last goddamn minute, they're waiting for an engraved invitation, or they don't know how to read a woman's signals, or they wait for a green light that's flashing. This is a giant mistake, and one of the things we address very strongly, part of the Rapid and Total Success course, is a module, an entire module on sexual aggression mastery, the sexually forward male. How to be sexually forward in a way that pushes boundaries without violating them and pushes boundaries in a way that actually gets women more aroused. Natural secret number 11. Naturals know challenge is where the power is. Now people say, oh, you mean you're going to play head games? And, you know, all I'm saying is I'm doing what it what women respond to. I don't care what women say they want. I don't care what women think they want. I only care what women respond to. And this is a big point to remember. There is what women say they want. There is what women think they want. And then there's what women respond to. And again, the most important thing, the most important thing is what they respond to. So naturals, number one, they don't over-validate. Well, what do I mean by validation? I mean any kind of attention you give a woman, a Facebook message, a text, a phone call, anything. That's validating. And naturals don't do too much of that prior to getting the woman into bed. Second thing is naturals don't always respond. So many of us are so eager for female validation, for female attention, that the instant she texts us, we text her back. The instant she calls us, we call her back. Does she do that for us? Probably not. And finally, naturals know when to selectively reinforce. That means they don't always give the validation. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't write these rules, I don't like these rules, but this is the way it works. Natural secret number 12. Naturals know that bore friends often mean next to not nothing, the monkey branch theory. Um, <laughs> a natural explained this to me, he came up with this, the monkey branch theory. Women are like monkeys, they won't let go of the branch entirely until they've got their hand on the next branch. So don't expect women, who are particularly attractive women, to be single and available necessarily. They could be a boyfriend, have a boyfriend and be available. Sometimes I think it's actually easier to pull a woman who has a boyfriend because at least she knows that uh, <clears throat> at least she knows that Mr. Wright probably doesn't exist. If she doesn't have a boyfriend, she can have a fictional Mr. Wright in her head that she's seeking. So you just have to compete with the boring idiot who sits around in his underwear and probably is over-validating her. So, natural secret number 13. Naturals call a woman on bullshit in the right way, at the right time, at the right place. I just think this is a matter of being authentic. When you're angry, get angry and then drop it. 
Now, there's a right way to do this and a wrong way to do this. The wrong way is to blame, to name call, to say, you fucking bitch. To name call or to lose it, to throw things around, to show signs of violent or violent intent. But calling on the bullshit simply means, hey, I don't like what you did. Never do that again. Here's what I'd like you to do instead. It really just means that you speak your truth. The belief behind all of this, the belief behind all of this, it's not something you speak. It's the unspoken attitude is that speaking my truth is more important to me than getting into your pants. And that is out of challenge to women. Natural secret number 14, naturals are willing to walk away. Man, this can be a hard lesson. I Two years ago, I walked away from a woman I really thought I was going to marry. The most beautiful woman I've ever been with, the best sex in my life. But she was just so disrupted to me emotionally and to my business, I just had to go. So I made that tough call and I walked away. A woman will never feel lasting deep passion for you unless on some level she knows she could lose you. She could push you far enough where you could walk. So that is my presentation. Uh, I hope it's gotten through to you without pushing your buttons too hard. As you reflect upon it and recognize that you'd like to learn more from me, I strongly urge you to go to my website, www.seduction.com, and sign up for my free newsletter and my free course. And we'll talk to you soon.